Yo, this is how I a and r can't tell it all by Hovey. Great record, had a lot of fun working on this one. I thought this record was super special. Kid's amazing talent, has a super hard of gold for Christ. So we're working on early drafts for Hovey's EP at the time, and the songs kept coming out so good. We had Reasons and a bunch of other singles already done, and we kind of felt like, yo, I think we kind of got an album. It was me, Hovey, and his manager, PB. So we was like, I guess we're making an album, right? So we get the songs queued up, and we felt like we needed the intro, which is always sometimes the hardest part to make for a project, but it's better to kind of work on intros, I feel like, at the last stage, because now you can kind of hear the body of work, and it's easier to, to work on that once you have the full story in mind. So anyway, Carvello sent us this beat, which was the early stages of the Can't Tell It All, the first half of the beat. We heard that beat, we thought it was special. I sent it to Hovey, he was like, yo, this could be the intro. I was like, yes, I know. But he was like, I think it needs a few touches. So I kind of agree with him, and uh, what was really dope is that he had this idea for the piano to make it super different, which was like similar to Deal DRE by Dr. Dre. He was like, man, I think the keys need to kind of go with that flam kind of sound like that. Bling, 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 bling. And when he said that, it was so divine because I actually had the exact same idea. And so I did that, added the keys, changed the clap to a snare, a rim shot, got a sample, did a whole beat switch on the second half. And, and there we had it, the beat was done. It was queued up. I kind of wanted to add that boom bap half of the beat just to give that super different approach so people can see Hovey for not just a trap dude, but kick and really rap and make classic records. So anyway, he gets that beat, he sits with it. He was telling me that he always kind of had this idea to make a song that kind of felt like you were watching the movie Rocky, that like fight kind of anthemic feel. While he was playing the beat in his house, his dad had walked by and heard the beat and was like, yo Hovey, I think what you need to do on this beat is imagine yourself in a fight, like in a ring. And it kind of clicked for Hovey instantly because he kind of already had an idea to make a record that felt like that. And his dad, not even knowing that idea, had basically told him the same thing. Hovey gets the record, he writes his verse. Uh, he comes to the studio the next day, records it. I come in, I had a meeting. I come in, the tail end of his verse, and I hear that verse. And I literally got goosebumps. I was like, yo, this is special. Um, I'm about to walk in the ring. Like it just, it just hits super special. And it, it's like dope bars, um, unashamed Christian content, rap music, hip hop in a fresh way. So the record comes out, does its thing, intro to the album, everybody loves it. And it starts going crazy on TikTok. We had no idea. We knew the record was great and compelling, but shout out to everybody that's rocking with it. Um, go check out more Hovey music. And yeah, that's how I a and the record. Can't tell it all about Hovey.